Thank you, uh, Mr. Tom and Mr. Chong, Mr. Chuanso. Our next speaker is uh, Dr. Viraj Laksana Din Son. Uh, he's a current appointed director of Human Resource and Organization Development of CET uh, Education Public Company Limited. Um, CET Education Public Company Limited is the organization that operates the largest chain bookstores called CET Book Center in Thailand. His duties is to take care of the, both human resource policy and development of new marketing schemes to improve business performance and productivity of CIET Book Center. Um, today he will talk about market change in book business in Thailand, case study of CIET Book Center. Doctor? Okay, thank you uh, for invitation me to be among book lovers here. Okay, the main topic today is to discuss about the future of book selling, right? right? But anyway, before we go to that part, we have to understand the situation of book market right now before. And the situation is very, very important because if we don't know now, we, we, we cannot think about the future. And if you ask me to talk or discuss about the future, sometimes it's quite difficult, right? Because the future change over time. And the future fluctuate over time as well. I will like some example, okay? In the past five years, in Thailand, if you go to, if, 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 if you went to the supermarket or department store, you might saw, you might see the parents will buy the tablet to the young kids. And all young kids in the department store will hold the tablet and play the smartphone and wipe your, their finger here, this and that, right? To play the smartphone. But right now the situation changed. Right now, if you go to the if you go to the department store, you will not see that even again. Because right now the parents perceive that uh, the smartphone and tablet are violent for their kids. And that kids are not appropriate to use that kind of device. Okay. The, situa the situation changed over time. Okay. Okay. Before we, 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 we share the idea, I would like to uh, introduce my organization before. Okay. See a book center. Okay. It's considered the largest book chain bookstore in Thailand. Right now, we have around 400 something branches throughout the country. Okay. You can say that we have. Uh, at least one branch in a province. Okay. And as estimated, see a book center earns around 30% market share. Around market share, one, one, one third. Okay, you can say like that. And rank number one among bookstores. So our information, especially sales and revenues, can be the proxy or representative information to reflect the market no more or less. On average, okay, the situation of book market in Thailand is not is not that good. Uh, on average, sales of bookstore have dropped for four consecutive years, four year in row, and each year we drop around five to eight percent. Oh, surprising, shock, right? Okay, the first year, the first year we drop. The first year we, 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 we dropped is 2012. And if you if we focus on the new title launch, it continuously dropped also, right? From 2012 until now. It decreased from 40 titles per day. It's a lot, right? In the past. But it's the data in the past. But right now, it's just 24 titles, titles per day. I don't know the situation in Malaysia, but in Thailand, it dropped a lot. From 40 per day to 24 per day, it's chalk, right? Okay. This is a tipping point. You can see the tipping point in 2012, right? And the quality of new title launch per month, launch to the market per month, dropped from, from, from actually is, uh, you can uh, calculate, right? It's around 40 something 
per day to right now is just 20 something. It's strong. Why? In the past, in the past uh, five, five years, if you were a celebrity in Thailand and you would like to share your idea to the society, for, for example, you would like, uh, you, you might write your autobiography book, right? And if you would like to follow the trend, especially the computer trend, the website trend, you might buy some book to learn, right? But right now the situation totally changed. If right now if you are a celebrity or you, you, and, and you are the model and you like to share the idea to the community or any target group, you can do the Facebook instead. You can do the page and you can write every day you want, right? Just brief, sen sen just brief sentences, okay? And if you do not want to write too much, you can use Twitter instead. And if you want to share the picture or photo, you can select Instagram, right? That means it's not necessary to, 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 to write anymore if you don't want to be a writer or author, right? So, so the current situation, book, I would like to focus that book do not only compete against book anymore. We are not in the book market anymore. We are in the leisure business. We try to snatch the leisure time from the consumer. <coughs> Sorry. Books do not, do not exist in the book market, but they are competing with other hobbies and other activities, especially social media, right? Reading time of Thai people continually decreased from 44 minutes a day in 2005 <coughs> to 37 in 2008 and 30 and 20 something in 2000 and uh, to 2015. Why? According to the research, the time they serve the internet, especially in social media, especially in the Facebook, is around one hour and a half. It's about three times as compared to the reading time. That means if you cannot create a book that can compete against other, com other competitors like social media, you cannot survive in the market at all. Ebook business doesn't grow as much as is expected. In the past, there are, there are a lot of persons talk to me that, hey, ebook will replace the physical book. But nowadays, it's proved it cannot. But the thing that can replace the book is social media. Because I I I I like to highlight that we are not in the book market anymore. We are in the leisure business. We are in well, we are in the leisure business. We we have to snatch the available time of the consumer to read the book. Hey, it's quite challenging, right? But ebook is, I would like to say that the only advantage of ebook is what? Is the convenience. It's only convenience because you can contain a lot of books at the same time, right? And you can read a lot of books at the same time as well. But if you study the reading behavior of the readers, you will, you will find that it's not, it, it doesn't match with the reading behavior at all. Because the reader often read one by one, okay? When they finish this title and then, and they go to the next one, right? And they don't want to carry everything, okay? For example, when you have a trip to some country, okay? You might carry a book, right? The most favorite one, right? To go along with you and read and page by page. And after you finish, you change to another one. This is the reading behavior. You are not necessary to bring all books you have along with you, right? And I think if we discuss about the evil, when you read the evil, right? When you read the evil, you have to sacrifice with many, many physical attractiveness. For example, the texture of papers. Right now in Thailand, if you, if you, if, if you think that book is 
the form that hold the contents. You cannot compete. But book hold many, many attractiveness. Right? You can select the appropriate paper, right? To make your book more charming as compared to other titles, right? And some leader feel very satisfied when they flip the book, right? And hear the flipping sound and enjoy the order of paper. But if you if you bring the evil, you cannot have that. And reading paper, reading reading the physical book is more comfortable for your eyes. More comfort, more comfortable, right? But and the most importantly is you have to ask yourself. When you are the leaders and you can access the internet, you can connect to the world, you can read from whatever you want, you can read from any sources, right? You are not necessary to frame yourself in the book that have the new model that's called ebook, right? You can skim whatever contents you want. You can Google whatever they want also. So, you have to understand the reading behavior of your readers and your target before. Right now, I always say that we lose the book buyer who do not like to read, but we never lose the reader. In the past, book is the lifestyle product. Lifestyle means if you sell, if, if you are celebrity, you have to 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 to, to be author and write some book, right? To, this, to display yourself and display your face in the bookstore. But right now, the situation changed. If you are a celebrity, you are a model, you have to open the Facebook page and write something in page and open the Instagram account, right? To let your follower to follow you, right? Right now, the book is not a lifestyle product anymore. You lose the book buyer. In the past, there are a lot of people buy the book, but they never read. They just heard, hey, this one is popular, so I buy. But I do not have time to, 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 to read. But for book lover and book reader, they still read and they still buy. But you have to realize yourself that you just lose someone who do not really love you. And you have to adapt yourself. You have to adapt yourself. At that time, in the past, some people buy book for no reason because it's lifestyle, right? But right now, they can kill their time in the coffee shop, in the Starbucks. In the past, when I would like to wait for my friends in Thailand, right? I have no place to rest. So I can wandering around in the bookstore, right? And wait my friend. But right now, situation change. If I would like to wait some, for, 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 for some people, I can wait that one in the coffee shop. The situation change and behavior of the consumer change. Okay. 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 I will talk about the e-commerce of books. E-commerce of e-commerce of books mean e-commerce of physical book. E-commerce of physical book continuously grow up by 30% a year. Sale of the last sale of the last year grew up from 2000 by 51%. Chart, very, very, very sharp because it's, it, it is very convenient, right? But the consumers still buy the book by in the internet, from the internet, from the e-commerce, but they don't want to, to, to confront with the a traffic jam or uh, in Bangkok, right? So they can order the book from the internet. Of, of all the product of ebook is comparable, it's quite high as well. But the volume, the and the amount of sale is not much. Because if you would like to read, I like I think all people recommend you to to, to, to buy the physical book instead. Ebook is just nothing in the sense of reader in Thailand, right? It's just, it's, it's just intangible, it's just intangible thing. Who, 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 who own, who own the right? It's the issue, right? It's the, 
is an issue that still conflict in the society. For example, you buy a book, a particular book, right? In, in e-book form. Right? And some month later, it was found that in the infringement, I as the publisher or e-book e provider, I can access to your smartphone and delete that, right? And make it invalid, right? But that means, hey, the, the buyer do not own the book, right? But if you buy the physical book, nobody can 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 steal your book from your house, right? So in Thailand, for the book readers, they still read. They still read. And for others, between ebooks and access to the internet and spend their time on social media, okay, they select the later one. Bookstore. Bookstore always try to provide several online features, okay. Right now, CF and other bookstore try to create the ebook platform or ebook readers for the customer, right? And the developer try to create a lot of features to entertain the readers to satisfy the reader. But if we talk or discuss with the leaders, you will found, you, you you will understand that they don't want. They don't want because it's too complicated. They want the simple one, the simple application that they can read and feel more comfortable when reading, just just like this. But too many features is not is not necessary anymore. Right now, we try to change to build up the attractiveness by physical attractiveness instead of online attractiveness. What does it mean? Okay, for example, you buy a book, you order a book with my e-commerce, right? With my e-commerce system, okay? Okay, we send the book. We can decide the parcel, right? You can create, the, we, we can create, we will create the well-designed parcel and perhaps we will send some copies of new coming book to you to read by the paper, to read by the paper, instead of give you a code to access to the internet and read some ebook. Oh, it's too complicated. But if I copy with copy the new coming book to you and put inside the box and send to you, and you can skip right immediately when you open the box. Hey, this is the I for me I call the physical attractiveness. And bookstore always ignore this. In the past two or three years, we try to do a lot with the application. We try to increase the features to entertain, to satisfy the consumer and readers. But actually, the leader wants to have physical attractiveness when they read the book. So we try to do this one. And it's successful a lot. When you buy the book, okay, I will send you some the sample so you can read. You can skip immediately when you open the box. Fantastic. In past five to three years, book uh, okay, as I told before, right? Book were lifestyle merchandise, but right now they are not. They are not. So the number of the new book launched into the market dropped from forty something to twenty something a day, right? As I told you before, right? Mm -hmm. According to Pubat, Pubat is the how to say the publish the publisher and bookseller association of Thailand research in 2015. Okay, they say 99%, almost 100% of samples still read the physical books. 24% were reported they read both physical and e-book, and just 2.0.2% read only e-book. So e-book is niche market in Thailand. So that means I would like to say that all company who invest in e-book, no one get the profit. No one can make the profit. But it's the trend that we have to follow, right? But we can we we we, we cannot make the profit from e-book. E-book is not trend. I say that ebook is not threat. 
is is quite small, right? But the threat is the real the real threat is social media in state because social media can snatch the available time for the consumer. Oh, uh, I I I don't know the situation in Malaysia, right? But in Thailand, especially in Bangkok, if you go to the department store, I think everybody in the department store will play smartphone and see and do something in the smartphone. This is the behavior. That means uh, in Thailand it's called bad head society, bad down head society. That means everybody in the department store bad down their head to play the smartphone and ignore everything, ignore everything. When they have lunch with their family, okay, they play this and play that all the time. And the question, a lot of people ask me, how to compete with social media? Paul, I would like to say that you cannot compete because it's the world trend. It's the world trend. How to compete with Facebook? Oh, it's quite difficult. I don't want to say impossible. Uh, I don't want to say difficult. I would like to say impossible. So. But the idea, the idea is you have to change to, to transfer social media from phone to friend. That is the best way that you can do. You cannot, you cannot avoid social media. Right now, I often recommend to the publisher in Thailand that, hey, the situation changed. You cannot push the book to the bookstore and let the bookstore do the marketing alone, like in the past. You have to do your own marketing program. You can do the social media, right? In the past, if you would like to put your book in the TV program, you have to invest a lot. But right now, you can use social media, you can use Facebook <coughs> Live and another kinds of blog, another kinds of feature on Facebook to promote your book, right? And you have to know the technique. I think that the next guy can guide you some about how to do the social media marketing successfully. That is very important. If you, you were the publisher and you would like to avoid avoid the social media marketing. You cannot survive because nobody knows you. Because a lot most of people in Thailand spend their time on Facebook, right? On social media, right? But if you are you you you, you do not have place in the social media, that means no one can see you. You are unseen. So, social media marketing is, is unavoidable scheme that you have to do. So, when we discuss about the social media, right? Okay, the number one in Thailand is Facebook. Okay, as you know, as you know, in Thailand we have the to the, the, the the total population is around 66 million, right? But Facebook user, Facebook user, uh is 41 million. 41 million users, that means more than 60% of Thai people use, use or spend their time on Facebook. Right? So, if in the past, I would like to compare like this. In the past, if you would like to create a brand awareness, how to do? You set, you establish the banner, right? You, you establish the banner along, along the road, along the street, and you can get the brand awareness. That means you get seen by, 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 by your targeted customer, right? But right now, your target customer stay in Facebook. And if you do not stay in Facebook, you will get unseen. And when you get unseen, you cannot create your brand awareness. And you cannot have, yeah, and if you have, have no brand awareness, how can you get brand preference? It's impossible, right? You cannot do the business if your target customer do not know you, right? And in Thailand, 41 million users spend their time on Facebook. Just Facebook. Okay, 41 million, right? And Twitter is just five, okay? And Instagram is around eight million, okay? And Line, okay? I can say that every people, every person in Thailand use Line to chat to chat and to communicate each other. Okay, if I select the number one is Facebook. Anyway, if, if, if some of you would like to do the book business in Thailand, you cannot avoid to do the marketing on Facebook and line. The number one is Facebook. 
And number two is lie. Right? It's a mask. It's a mask. The, the, the old reputation doesn't matter at all. And the more, the more important thing that I would like to share is Thai people like to watch video clip. So they spend their time a lot in, in YouTube. Right? And if they spend their time on Facebook, okay, between reading the article and watching the video clip, they select to, 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 to watch the video clip instead. So anyway, if you would like to do the marketing, please, please, please think about video clip. And some format that is easy to read, for example, select show. You can create some photo album, right? Photo album, right? And put a lot of, of, of put a lot of slide as a dot jpg to use at the slide show and to review your book. Okay, not not to write the long sentences to review the book because the people don't want to 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 to, to read more. They like to watch video clip and like to read some stuff in the PowerPoint and the slideshow or photo album is like slide is like PowerPoint slide. Right. And okay. What are our target? So if you were the book seller in Thailand, what target you would focus? We have three. In, 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 in uh, regarding the book center, we focus on three categories, three targets. The first one is student. Okay, I will I will tell you why with uh, in the next slide, right? And the second one is the parents, the parents, and the last one is the office worker. Hey, it is this is very very questionable. In the past two or three years, okay. The publisher don't want to publish the book, for example, the investment book, uh, management book, and self development book. It's, it's like I always tell uh, the publisher uh, like this: Hey, why do you think that my generation extinct? I still alive, and I would like to read, but I have nothing to read because I think you are taught, you are taught too much. And you think that everybody will not read anymore, but the real, but but in the reality, it's not. I I still want to read, but I have nothing to read. So the generation X, okay, that means around uh, thirty years or something to to, to 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 fifty years old, they're still alive, right? And they and they would like to read, but don't do like that target extinct and die all, right? So this year we try to focus on this group and it's successful or not. Okay, they would like to skim some from internet, but if they feel that, hey, this content is valuable enough, they, they are ready to buy because this group, they have the, how to say, purchasing power, right? They are ready to buy, right? But you have to make sure that hey, this title is appropriate for you and worldwide buying. Okay. According to okay, I will I will give you some idea about our stock turnover, right? The most interesting category is test preparation and supplementary textbook. In the past two years, a lot of school try to use the online material to teach their kids, to teach their students. Students mean from, 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 from preschool to university students. A lot of students, a lot of university try to use online, me online media and online material to teach the student, but it doesn't work. Especially for the primary school and secondary school. They still, I mean the student need to use the paper to read and review, right? And write. Right now, a lot of school so wish to use the paper-based book again because it is more effective than, 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 than online material, right? 
So the, the number one is test preparation and supplementary textbook. If you go to Thailand right now, you will see this kind of book in the bookstore, very, very high times. Several cover of this book. <coughs> and number two, number two is fiction, but the trend is, is not good. The trend is not good. In the past five years, it, it was number one. It was number one. It, the fiction is was number one that in the past five years. The combination between number two, number three, number four can be the fiction. But right now, the fiction go to number two. And the number three and number four is children book. And in Thailand, there are two types of children book, right? Okay, for small kids and for the for the older one, right? And if you combine number three and number four, the statistic is better than number two. That means right now, any bookstore in Thailand, they try to focus on number one, okay, test preparation and supplementary supplementary textbook. Because in the, in education in Thailand, the competition is very, very intense. And the parents just right now, they have around one or two kids in the family. So they try to invest everything on that kids, right? They have fewer kids, but they are ready to invest more. So test preparation and supplementary group has very, very clear future in the bookstore. And okay, for the young kids, the parents don't want to, 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 to buy the smartphone and tablet for their kids anymore. In Thailand, right now the government promote that, hey, the appropriate age that you can buy the smartphone and the tablet to your kids is around nine to 10 years old. Before 10 years old, hey, you should prevent, you should avoid, and you should get your children to read and build the reading behavior. So right now, the children book go very, very, and have a have, have very, very bright future. Right? And number five, number six is management and investment and self-development, okay, as I said before, right? because this generation is still alive. According to sales per time to launch, because the number one is, is the number one is what? The number one is management book. Because in the past two or three years, publisher don't want to publish the management book, right? But the market still demand, right? And if you calculate uh, the sales per uh, title launch, it is number one. It sells a lot. Although it has very, very few titles in the bookstore. Right? That means there, 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 there is the room to grow up for the management book in Thailand. Right? I'm not sure about the situation in Malaysia. Right? And number two, English and foreign language to improvement is popular a lot. Right now, Thailand try to try to improve our English proficiency for that for our kids. Right? So the schools and parents very very sensitive to English skill improvement. So this kind of book, this kind of book is quite popular and itself is very, very interesting. Okay, so we try to adapt ourselves, right? Okay, we in this year we, we, we do the promotion and marketing to focus on the three groups, the key target groups, right? The first one is the first one is student, the, the second one is parents, and the third one is office worker, right? This one is for office worker, break the comfort zone. You have to develop yourself, right? We try to convey this content to, to, the, to, to, to the target, right? And, okay, for the children book, right? We try to decorate our bookstore to attract the parents who go past bookstore and who, to attract the children who go past our bookstore to come inside. Okay, we do this promotion with Disney Thailand, right? to decorate our bookstore to be the Disney World. Okay. And it's successful a lot. It's go up around 30%. The children will grow up when we do the promotion around one month. 
is go up around is go up around by thirty percent. It's spreading a lot. It's spreading. Okay, this is the example that we did with Disney Thailand, right? That means you can do the bookstore in the old fashion or in the traditional way. Traditional way. You just face up the book and you think that the readers or consumer will walk along and pick the book and skim by by by, by themselves. This is the behavioral chain. You have to convey the content to the reader or to target. And this is the example that successful one. Okay, we try to write some article, right? Some article, some content that is popular at that time, right? Okay. And we do this both in our bookstore and in our social media, right? Okay, and we put the book that related to the content around, around, and it can, it, when the reader get the information, right? It's not the selling information, it's the content. For example, this one, right? It's the EF, executive function. This, this concept is popular a lot in Thailand, especially in Thai parents. Right now, if you talk about EF, executive function, that is a skill that you have to cultivate your kids before they go to school, right? Executive function, EF. Is, EF stands for executive function. It's popular a lot because there are a lot of doctors talk about this in Thailand, right? And so we will give some information about EF to the parents. What the EF is and what is its importance, okay? When the parents read, right, they can make the buying decision immediately, okay? Because the book that place around this contents is the book that related to EF. It can promote, it is, it's very easy and can promote yourself a lot. You invest just a little, but you have to put your, your attention on it. You have to follow the trend. You have to know what uh, the parents are talking about. And you pick that to write the content. And you have to write the valuable content, not selling content, not advertisement. Is the content that means I would like to really tell you about EF, right? And this content is very worldwide because we search for a lot of information source and we try to, 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 to concise and make you understand EF within one or two minutes. And when the parents realize this is very valuable, right? And these books around is related to EF, okay? they can make buying decision at once. And we try to expand this kind of idea to all branches in this year. And right now we try to create a team to create the content and work along with the publisher to create the content, to promote the content. I mean, valuable content, not advertisement, right? To, to our bookstore. And in the social media as well. Because content is the key, right? And if you can use the content to help you to sell the book, that's very, very fantastic. Okay, somebody asked me about the product mix. Right now, when you go to Thailand, right? Especially when you go to the our bookstore, see a book center in the department store, you might see we sell a lot of things. but. Some is successful, but some is not. <laughs> okay, we try to blend some of non-book merchandises into our bookstore, right? But we try to sell snack, uh, premium stationery, a lot of things in the bookstore. But the most are fair. There are two things that is successful that that successful a lot. The first one is educational toys to sell to the parents. And it is considered the impulse product. That means the parents buy book and buy the toy also. There, there, there are very, very few parents to go to bookstore and buy only toy. They buy books and toy. And the next one is autonomy. I can write the caption and back support, next support, right? 
to, to, to kill the office syndrome. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, it's successful or not. So we can realize that, hey, the main focus of our bookstore is parents, correct? The office worker, hey, right? And then number three is immigrants. So we try to adjust our strategy to focus on these three targets in the year and onwards. And for other products, we try to, okay, if the contract is terminated, we will finish. For example, snack and other kind of stuff I, 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 I cannot remember. You have to realize that, hey, if the people go to the bookstore, they don't want to buy snack, right? If they want to buy snack, they have to go to supermarket instead. Snack you can sell, but if you compare with the the overhead cost to maintain it, because in the bookstore we have rent, right? We have rent. It's, it's costly to maintain, mm -hmm. and, and it's not worthwhile. And the image, the, and the image, image and perception of your bookstore will change, and you might get a lot of complaint from the book reader. That is the real fan of yours. I get a lot of complaints from our fans, from our community, from the book lover. Right? Hey, why CF sell this kind of things in the bookstore? If I would like to buy this thing, this snack, I would go to the supermarket instead. So this year we try to re rethink about the strategy and try to, 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 to get rid of this thing out of the bookstore. It's right for the the the, 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 the the contract terminated. Mm -hmm. We try to focus on the content and the attractiveness of the book. The display in starting bookstore still need to focus on book and content. Okay, I will, I will underline this content of the books because readers still need to buy the book from the bookstore, right? In the past, you just face up the book. You, you just display the book. That's enough. But right now, it's not enough anymore. So you have to give some content about that, especially the bestseller one. And the group of books that you would like to promote, you have to write some content, not advertisement. OK, somebody asked me, hey, why, 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 why see it doesn't go to school market? School market is interesting, but school market is the red ocean. It's very, very risky, right? Because the policy, the government policy change over time. For example, for example, somebody tell me that, hey, it, it is ridiculous, right? Why school need to change the textbook in all subjects in every three years? And school people do, do, school people do not care whether the book is effective or not. But in every three years, they have to change the book. They have to change the textbook. Right? So that means you cannot get the high margin enough to sell the book into school, except you get the high volume enough. And the next one, school usually subject to budget limitation. Some publisher try to sell the book to the school, right? And a bit expensive, but trade off with a lot of a lot of advantages as compared to, to the old one. But the principal cannot buy because the principal don't want to do the report uh, to, to, to their superintendent, right? Why they have to pay more for this subject, right? They don't want to pay even a buck, even one buck. So they would like separate to keep the same price. But when we have to confront with this kind of budget limitation, it hinders the R and D process in the textbook, right? Because they don't want, because you don't want to, to invest more to build a new thing, right? So you can get very, very little margin to sell into the school. So if you decide to penetrate to this market, you have to make sure that you can gain the high volume enough to survive. And do not talk about the corruption in Thailand. This is another issue. Conclusion, okay, this is the last page. Last page. 
the most effective marketing program of the book market system. It has content marketing. Just press up the book, just need to play the book in the bookstore, it's not enough anymore, right? You can do the content marketing through social media channel, right? And through the collaboration between bookstore and author or publisher who write who, who write the book. Especially in Thailand, the popular author have their own Facebook page. You can coordinate with them to promote the book, right? And content marketing at bookstore is still needed to get target customer cut inside. This aspect, I would like to say that a lot of bookstore and publisher try to do the content marketing via social media only. But anyway, and ignore, and ignore to do any content marketing in the bookstore. That is very, very risky, right? Because to do the online marketing or social media, social media marketing, that means you are trying to attract the consumer or, or customer from their house to your store, right? But it's quite difficult, it's quite tough, and you have to invest a lot. And if you do content marketing inside the bookstore or in front of the bookstore, that means you are trying to attract the people who go past your bookstore to go inside. It's easier. I swear, it's easier because if you talk, I would like you to think about the magnet, right? If you do the social media, you it's like you, you use the magnet to attract the people from their house to your, to your store. It's quite far, right? The distance is quite far. But to do the content marketing in front of the bookstore and inside the bookstore, it's like you use the magnet to draw the people who go past your bookstore. The distance is very, very narrow, right? To go into your bookstore. I think it's easier. And the bookstore always ignore and try to do all its online marketing. And invest everything on online and ignore the marketing, especially content marketing in the bookstore. I think, in my point of view, it's wrong way. It's wrong way. You have to do both. You cannot see late. And the number three that I would like to suppress, you have to set up the team to catch up the trend on social media. And you can select the book that match with that trend and deliver the content, that content to the bookstore to the bookstore manager to put that book or those book in the display block or in the area that is outstanding enough, right? But you have to do day by day operation. Right now, books, bookstore cannot do month by month or week by week operation anymore. You have to do one day by day. You have to set up any team, some team, a particular team to follow up the trend on social media, in Facebook and Twitter, right? And if you know the popular hashtag, okay, you can track, hey, this track is might might related to those book, okay? And you send 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 the report to the bookstore manager to to, to, to arrange those book in the outstanding point, right? So you have to do day by day operation if you would like to survive in the market. Anyway, besides social media and online marketing, right? You have to, to, to think about CRM program or membership program. Because I would like to, to, to I, I would like to say that when you do the social media, social media marketing or Facebook marketing, okay, you invest the money. Okay? Who own the member? Facebook. The people who go to your page belong to you. No, belong to Facebook, right? You know nothing. You have to ask yourself, you know your fans' address? No. You know your fans' telephone number? No. Right? But you always think that the number of fans who like your page is your own fan account, is your own asset. But in, in reality, it's not. It belongs to Facebook. And Facebook just borrow, uh, just, just lend you the member to like your page. So you have to do something. So, so you have to do something to, to to contain and collect the digital signature of your customer. Digital signature means 
the mobile number, email address, location, birthday, name, and surname, right? So you can do another marketing program, especially membership program, that <coughs> lower cost than do the online marketing or social media marketing. So that means we have to do both. Social marketing to acquire the new customer or new target customer, right? And you have to do something or do some platform to contain the digital signature of your target customer, potential customer or existing customer to do the membership program or any promotion to increase the sale from the existing customer that cheaper. It's, I always compare that. Facebook and other social media is like the ocean, right? If you do the do only social media marketing, it's like you are swimming in the ocean. If you do not have money, okay, you will got unsafe immediately, right? You will get unsafe from the market immediately, right? and you will sink and you will die. And to create some system to carry, to collect the digital signature from your customer, it's like you build up the chip and use that chip in the, the ocean. It's the closest step in the open system. You can collect the digital signature of your target, your customer, to do another promotion program to gain more money, to gain more money from the existing customer. So social media is unavoidable, but you have to, 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 to understand it and try to do membership program also. And that's all for today. Thank you.